Hello guys, so if you have watched my previous video, The Legend Challenge, then you would probably know that I got Mr. Del Piero from The Legend Agent. And I had a lot of fun using him. I think he is one of the best dribbler in the football scene, so I would like to share his dribbling style with you guys. So let's get to it. First, let's take a look at some of his highlight. Alright, so the first thing that he likes to do is dribble straight towards the defender. And when he get close, he cut past to the side of the defender. Let's see some more example. He dribbles straight towards the defender and get close to him, then cut right past beside him. Okay, to do this in the game is very simple. All you have to do is dribble the ball without using your sprint button because you want close control of the ball. As you get close to the defender, use your left stick together with your sprint button to cut right past the sides of the defender. One more time, use the sprint button and move your left stick away from the defender so that the defender could not get to that ball. Another example, as you can see in the clip right now, there is a lot of space to run into. So make use of this chance and use your sprint button, the R1 button to dribble faster. But when you get close to the defender, remember to let go of the sprint button so that you have close control of the ball. Then, use your left stick and the sprint button to cut right past the defender. One more time. Alright, last example for this. Release sprint button when you get close to the defender. Then, use your left stick and the sprint button to cut right past the defender. Alright, so the next trick that he likes to do is changing the direction of his dribble. In this clip right now, he is running to his right. Then, he switches his direction towards the left. Let's take a look at it again in full speed. Some more examples. Alright, last example. Alright, now let's take a look at some example in PES. Release your sprint button to have close control of the ball. In this clip, I want to run towards the wing because there is a lot of space there. So fake going towards another direction before using the left stick and the sprint button like I've shown you before in the first trick. Some more examples.
All right, last example for this. Okay, one more trick that Mr. Del Piero likes to do on the football pitch is stopping during his dribble and then continue his run. One more time in full speed. Some more examples. Alright, last example. Okay, to do this is very simple. All you have to do is hold the sprint button, the R1 button without touching any other button. This will make your player stop the ball and face towards the goal. After your player stop the ball, use your sprint button and the left stick to cut right past the defender, just like I show you guys before in the first trick. Some more examples. Hold R1 without touching any other button to stop the ball. Then cut past the defender by using the left stick and the sprint button. Make sure to move your left stick perpendicular 90 degrees to the defender. If not, something like this might happen. One more time, stop the ball by holding the R1 button. Then cut past the defender using the left stick and the sprint button. Once again, try not to move your player at 45 degree or something like this will happen. After some practice, you can do this multiple times. Just make sure not to move at 45 degrees. Some more examples. While most of the time you want to change the direction of your dribble after stopping the ball, sometimes, depending on the situation, you might want to continue your run towards your original direction. One of the best location where you can use this trick is at the edge of the penalty box because it is a good setup for a shot. Another example. As shown before, with some practice, you can do this multiple times. Okay, one last example for setting up a shot at the edge of the penalty box. Another good location where you can use this trick is when running out wide, face towards the touchline, then stop the ball and cut inside. With some practice, you can do something like this.
One more thing about holding the sprint button, it is very useful for your center forward when receiving the ball with his back facing towards the goal because you can use it to turn around and set up for a shot. Another example. Alright, last example. Okay, I have shown all of the dribbling tricks used by Mr. Del Piero, but don't close this video just yet. I have some bonus tips for you guys. The first tip is to only use the sprint button when you have a lot of space to run into. When you get close to the defender, usually near the edge of the penalty box, release the sprint button and try to cut past the defender just as shown in this tutorial. During a counter-attack, get the ball to your white player and then cut inside from the halfway line. Usually, there will be some gap between the opponent's center midfielder and the center backs. As you get close to the penalty box, make sure to release the sprint button and then use all the tricks that I've shared to you guys in this video. Another example, take a look at that ton of space in the middle where you can run into, be sure to take advantage of that. Release the sprint button when you get close to the edge of the penalty box. Alright, the next tip is do not force your dribble if there are a lot of defenders. Try to look for a pass instead. Don't get pressured to dribble until you can get an opening for a shot. If your teammate is in a good position, then there is no harm to pass to him. Alright, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys had a good time watching this. I hope you guys can learn something from this. If you find this video useful, please give it a like. Subscribe to get updated on more future content and future tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to ask them in the comment section. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.